guys, it's Sheila Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I usually make videos makeup related and beauty related. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe below so you can see all my upcoming videos. So today I'm bringing you guys this video. It's going to be 11 tips on how to style if you're in the shorter side or the petite side like I am. I have found that these tips are very helpful just to have these pieces in my closet, just very easy to use for work on an everyday basis. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first tip is actually very easy. It's just incorporating vertical stripes into your looks because when you wear vertical stripes it just makes your legs look a lot longer you instantly look a little bit taller so I love doing this for work and not also makes you look taller but it also makes you look very elegant so I really like using vertical stripes the second tip is actually one of my favorites because I love this trend is wearing high-waisted jeans if you wear high-waisted jeans your torso actually looks a little bit longer and it just makes you look very elegant it also flatters your figure a lot so it gives you those couple inches that you're missing I I like to do this for work a lot, especially when I'm wearing like trousers. I would wear something that starts on my waist and then I'll wear, wear like a very elegant shirt with it and I feel like it looks very cute and it definitely makes me look a little bit taller. The third tip is actually something that we all have in our closet so it's going to be very easy for you guys to use this and it's wearing medium heels. I used to be the person that would wear like flat shoes or high heels and there was no in between. But I have found that with my everyday life, I usually walk a lot more now and I get really tired when I'm wearing those really high heels. So for that reason, I started buying like medium sized heels and I noticed that it definitely made a difference. When I wore flats before, it was very obvious um, that I was on the shorter side. So I just started wearing those medium sized heels and I definitely do not feel the difference anymore. I'm always going to be the shorter person in the room. There's no way about it. But it definitely makes me feel a little bit more on the normal side. Not that there's anything wrong with being short. I actually absolutely love being short because we have the option to be either short or being tall. And I love that. But I'm usually around people that are taller. So I definitely want to give myself those couple of inches that I'm missing. Number four is actually if you take pictures for the Instagram or just pictures in general. When you get pictures taken, make sure that the person is leaning down or, or taking the picture from the bottom up. It makes your legs look a lot taller. You're going to notice in this picture that I actually look like I'm seven feet tall. When I'm not, I'm short of five four. It definitely makes a big difference when the pictures are taken this way and this is a tip that you should definitely incorporate in all your pictures. Number five, I know this is something that I always, always do and always say that you shouldn't but I'm, I'm guilty of it and this is wearing long blouses. I know I do this all the time. I always see those blouses that end in the middle of your legs say like, oh my god, this would be so pretty with like a waist um, belt or something like that. But when I go to put them on, I feel so discouraged because it makes me look a lot shorter. And I have found that I have stopped wearing shirts like this. Kind of found their way into the back of the closet. I've changed those kind of shirts for just ones that hang on your hips, and especially the ones that hang on your rib hips on the front, but they are longer on the back. I absolutely love those kind of shirts because especially if I'm wearing leggings, I don't have to worry about like my back being shown or if they're see-through or anything like that because my shirts on the back lay a little bit lower but on the front they still give you that really chic and classy kind of elegant look where they just hang on your waist and you get to look a little bit taller which is always awesome and it's kind of the topic of this video. Tip number six. I feel like this is an obvious but I see so many people doing this. I also used to do this and that is changing the midi skirts for mini skirts. I used to do this all the time, especially for work. I used to pick skirts that end below my knees when actually I should be choosing skirts that end on top of my knees. So it makes a huge difference and you don't think it does. But with the media skirt, your legs look a lot shorter than when you're wearing a skirt that ends below your knees. Number seven is changing your oversized bag for a mini bag or a crossbody one. This one doesn't seem as obvious and I do this, I do this all the time because it's comfortable just to wear an oversized bag where you can just throw all the stuff that you want to carry. But actually when you change that for a smaller bag, you don't look as petite. Because when you wear a big bag, it kind of like overshadows you and it makes you look a lot smaller compared to the huge bag they're carrying around. I found that I used to carry a lot of things that I thought I needed, but I actually didn't need any of that stuff. So my day goes a lot lighter and I feel like I don't have to carry around all that stuff. Number eight, and this one is very important. I feel like not a lot of people do this, but if you're wearing a maxi skirt, especially when the spring and the summer is coming, make sure it has a split on your legs and make sure your legs are showing. And it definitely, accent, definitely accentuates your legs and makes it look a lot longer than they actually are. I guarantee you that this works. This is one of my favorite tips and I use it all the time in the summer. Number nine. And you have noticed that most tips definitely have to do with your legs because that's really what's going to make a difference whether you look taller or a little bit shorter. It's just showing a little bit of your legs and making them look a lot longer than they actually are. So number nine is trying to wear flare jeans or palazzo pants. 
because they start very thin and they open up on the bottom and that makes you look a lot thinner and then a lot taller also. I love incorporating paints like this. I feel like they look so cool, so fun. Number 10 is actually very, very easy. It's just using monochromatic looks and wearing just one color for your whole outfit. I like to do this with white, with neutrals, or even black. I to do this with white, especially on the springtime. I love the look of it. I feel like it looks so fresh, so elegant. And you can do this with sneakers, you can wear it with heels, you can wear it with sandals, and I feel like it's so cool. When you're doing this, I feel like the accessories is what actually makes a difference for your look, and I love doing this. I love wearing just one color look. We're getting to the end of this video, and I have for you the last tip and that is wearing v-necks or anything that accentuates your neck and your cleavage. You think that this actually doesn't work but it definitely does work especially when you have a v-neck because it makes this part right here just look a little bit longer, a lot more elegant and things just flow a little bit better when people look at you and see you with stuff that shows your neck. This definitely makes your neck look a lot longer. I feel like it also makes it look a little bit more classy and I love doing this with almost all my shirts. You're rarely gonna find me wearing something that doesn't show this part right here because I feel like that's just really part of my style. I always choose uh, shirts that are v-neck or that show your collarbone because I, I just feel more comfortable in them and I also feel like it makes me look a lot taller than I am. Alright guys, so that is all the tips that I have for you. I really try to find things that you already have in your closet so you don't have to go ahead and buy something else and maybe just make you rethink the pieces that you have already in your closet. If you're on a shorter side, try to keep these things in mind next time you go shopping. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in any way. This tip set definitely worked for me. So thank you so much for watching and as always, don't forget to subscribe below before you leave and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!